so this is the third video so we are going to discuss general nodal analysis in this we are going to discuss general nodal analysis in network topology in previous two videos we discussed about the definitions in network topology and in the second video we have discussed about how to draw a tree and a co-tree as well as graph okay how we need to draw those things so in this video we are going to discuss about find the value of vx okay we are going to see a, see a problem using general nodal analysis in network topology the first question is find the vx in the circuit shown in the figure okay first step what i need to do is i need to draw a graph I need to draw a graph. From the graph, I need to draw a tree. Okay. Next, by applying the nodal analysis, by applying KSL in nodes, and I need to find out the unknown voltages. Unknown voltages. Okay. So I am going to identify nodes. Node one, two, three, and then this will be considered as fourth node. There are totally four nodes. There are totally four nodes. The first thing is I am going to draw a graph. So I am going to replace this 8 ohms. I am going to draw this 8 ohms as a line segment, 15 ohm as a line segment and then Vx by 14 will be replaced with a line segment, 4 ohm line segment and then 100 ohm source will be replaced with a line segment. It is your graph. So from this graph, I need to draw a tree. While drawing a tree, we need to consider a few rules like uh, all the voltage sources should be kept in a tree. All the current sources should be kept in a co-tree. Okay, so I'm going to draw tree. And I need to draw all the nodes which is in the graph in tree also. So this 100 volt source should be drawn here. And remaining two branches I can simply draw and I need to make sure there should not be any closure path. There should not be any closure path. So uh, this is my tree. The branches which is not available in the tree and which is available in the graph I am going to call as a co-tree. I am going to draw the co-tree using daughter lines. I am going to draw co-tree using daughter lines. Okay. Now I am going to mention the voltages which we need to find out. So I need to find out this voltage Vx which is given in the question itself. Okay, this is plus Vx minus. And I am going to assume there is a voltage across this 15 ohm which is V1. Which is V1. And we already have a voltage source here. 100 volt. And we already know the current flowing here which is Vx by 4 in this direction. Sorry, Vx by 14 in this direction. Okay, these are all things we know. Now, the next step is I need to apply nodal analysis. Okay, so before that I will just briefly tell what is uh, what we need to find out. We need to find out the two unknown voltages V1 and Vx. V1 and Vx. And we need to obtain two equation in terms of vx and v1 so that we can solve the two equation and find what is vx and what is v1 and uh, there are totally four nodes in that there is a voltage source here so it forms a super node so voltage source between the two nodes will form a super node so we can apply the kcl to the remaining two nodes okay while applying kcl to node a so i need to consider the current through this and current here so this current we already know which is vx by 14 so this current is v1 by 15 okay this we can write using v equal to ir okay i know what is the voltage across this 15 ohms which is v1 i want to know the current flowing through that i know what is resistance r so v1 equal to i times 15 so i will be equal to v1 by 15 so current flowing through this in this direction towards A is V1 by 15. 
so v1 by the 15 is a current entering the node and vx by 14 is also the current which is entering the node a okay so vx by 14 is the current entering the node okay so next i am applying the case select node b okay so node b is this node so we know the current flowing here we know the current flowing here because this is v1 and the current flowing to this is v1 by 15 here it is vx by 8 okay so vx by 8 is the current entering the node b okay because the direction how we put the direction of the current here is that is based on the passive sign convention the positive the current will enter positive and leave negative so the current direction is taken in such a way which is obeying the passive sign convention here also the current direction is drawn in the same way by obeying the passive sign convention assume that the current i is entering so v1 by 15 is the current entering positive and leaving negative okay so vx by 8 is the current entering the node b and v1 by 15 is the current leaving the node b and i need to find out the current flowing through the four ohms so in order to find the current flowing through the four ohms i am drawing this so i know the voltage across this is vx voltage across this is 100 volt and i need to know the current flowing through this so first of all i am going to find the voltage across this the current direction is downward because i am obeying i am just uh, considering the current direction like it is obeying the passage and convention so apply kvl here so minus 100 okay the current is entering negative leaving positive so minus 100 this current is entering positive leaving negative so plus vx the current is entering positive leaving negative so plus v4 is equal to 0 so v4 will be equal to minus 100 will be plus 100 if i take it to the right hand side plus vx becomes minus vx so v4 will be equal to 100 minus vx okay, now current flowing through this 4 ohm is so i4 will be equal to v4 by 4 so it is v equal to ir okay v4 is equal to i4 times r is 4 so i4 will be equal to v4 by 4 so v4 is 100 minus vx by 4 so i4 is 100 minus vx by 4 so this 100 minus vx is the current leaving the node b leaving the node b so uh, we can write by applying the K kcl at node b so vx by 8 is the current entering so plus vx by 8 v1 by 15 is the current leaving so minus v1 by 15 so because it is leaving and 100 minus vx by 4 is also leaving so minus 100 minus vx by 4 equal to 0 ok so we are applying kcl here so I'll just uh, repeat this by clearing. So we have current in this direction. So this is V1 by 15. This is Vx by 8 in this, in this direction. In this direction we have 100 minus Vx by 4. Okay, now Vx by 8 is a current which is entering the node B, so plus v1 by 15 is a current leaving the node b going out of the node b so it is minus v1 by 15 100 minus vx by 4 is a current which is leaving the node b so it is also minus equal to 0 ok now i am going to group this vx by 8 and 100 minus vx by 4 so vx by 8 minus of 100 minus vx by 4 minus v1 by 15 equal to 0 now take lcm among these two so 8 and 4 will get 8 so here there is no change vx can be written as it is minus of so 4 times 2 will be 8 so 2 times 100 minus vx minus v1 by 15 equal to 0 now take this minus 2 inside so it will become minus 200 minus into minus plus so it is plus 2 vx so plus 2 vx plus vx will be 3 vx by 8 minus 200 by 8 ok here we have minus v1 by 15 Okay, now I am going to take this 200 by 8. So this 200 by 8 is how many times? 25 times. 8 times 25 will be 200. 
So this minus 25 I can be taken to the right hand side. So we get uh, 3vx by 8 minus v1 by 15 equal to 25, which is equation number 2. So already we have the equation number 1 here, vx by 14 plus v1 by 15 equal to 0. Okay, by using 999ms calculator, you can simply solve these two equations directly or use Cramer's rule for solving this. Okay, so by solving this, we are going to get vx equal to 56 volt and v1 equal to minus 60. Thank you.